What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure setup extreme edition. <laughs> Alright guys, in today's video we have another figure set up for you guys. We are in the arena this time. Took it out of the backstage area and into the arena. We have some extreme spots I'm going to take you through. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So I guess we can start things off on the stage guys. We have this big tall ladder and at the top we have the man Jeff Hardy about to hit a swanton bomb on Sami Zayn waiting on the table below. Kevin Owens is nowhere to be found so Sami Zayn is all alone on this table about to get crushed. You got Jeff Hardy giving us the signature hands there and then he is going to drop a bomb right on to Sami Zayn. If you come down the aisle way right here you will see that Jeff's brother Matt Hardy has been put through two tables and this happened because the Dudley boys have pushed over this ladder in the middle of the ring. Uh, Matt Hardy was about to retrieve the MDT World Tag Titles and the Dudleys wanted to cut that stuff short. They pushed Matt over and he went tumbling through two tables so the Dudley boys are going to have a chance at those tag titles right here in this matchup. If we go out in front here of the ring, you will see where RVD has just smashed Heath Slater through a table. He jumped off of the turnbuckle right here with a frog splash, five stars, all the way down, crushing Heath Slater. This is the moment of impact, obviously, where he got him. Right behind the Dudleys, you will see Sandow in the ring getting RKO'd off the turnbuckle through a table. That is mid-RKO right there. Obviously, I couldn't hold him in midair, so uh, they're laying right there. That is literally right before the table is about to break in the ring. If you look behind the Dudleys, you'll see some tables back there. They're probably about to be set up. You know, the, the Dudleys love their tables, so I'm sure a table spot for them is coming soon. Right beyond, we have Baron Corbin on a ladder, and it is strung from the ring to the barricade. And it looks like he is about to get a coup de grace from the demon Finn Balor coming off the turnbuckle. He's holding on to that scaffolding so that he will not slip. So he's about to hit a coup de grace on Baron Corbin. Take out Trash Corbin right there. If we come around to the announce table area, you will see Chris Jericho on this extra table to the outside. And if you look around, there's really nobody to jump on him until you go all the way up the scaffolding. And you will see Shane O'Mac at the top about to bail off. Let's get a good zoom in right here. Let's look at all that. Look at this height right here. That is a very tall spot for Shane McMahon. You know, I, I bet that's about the height of the Hell in a Cell right there. Um, you know, we've seen that spot a few times. So Chris Jericho about to be the new Shane O'Mac spot right there coming off the top of that scaffolding. Just beyond that, you will see Batista giving a huge Batista bomb to Goldust right through the announce table. That's pre-bust through the announce table right there. Um, you see me right here reacting on commentary. I'm pretty panicked. And then, of course, Brad over there is panicked as well about what's going on in the arena. Just so much mayhem going around. And here's my favorite part of the entire setup just over here. We have Seth Rollins in a shopping cart getting pushed by the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. And he is about to push Seth in this cart through this pyramid of chairs. Uh, I think this is fantastic. It just sort of popped in my head. And I think it's hilarious how Seth and Braun are both yelling, you know, Seth screaming for help. And Braun's like, ah, I'm going to kill you. So that, that's pretty funny, you know. Seth's pretty panicked. And then Braun's like, yeah, you're, you're done for. So he may go through this pyramid of chairs and then right off the table, you know what I'm saying? So he could easily die here. All right, guys, well, that about does it for this arena figure setup. I would have liked to got some more behind Strowman and maybe over here in this space. But uh, I didn't want it to be too crammed. Uh, my dog's also walking around about to knock over lamps and stuff, so I'm trying to be pretty careful. Tomorrow we do have the 55-man Battle Royal coming up, so definitely be on the lookout for that. That will be posted tomorrow. We're going to be having, you know, see if uh, Brock Lesnar can retain his MDT Battle Royal Championship. And then the following day, Vindication Episode 7 will be up. You know, we're coming back from Money in the Bank, so be on the lookout for that. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Comment down below if you enjoyed the setup, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.